A year of challenges, I would say, for the Caribbean in terms of continuing to attract visitors from Europe. Uh, you've had the Cricket World Cup, which had mixed reception here again here in Europe. Um, how has the CTO responded to these challenges? Well, remarkably well, I think. Um, certainly, I, I believe what has happened in the last uh, several months, if not the last year, is many of our members are beginning to recognize that by working together and cooperating brings far more benefits than people trying to go their own way. I mean, a good example which came out of our um, meeting in Puerto Rico, um, Caribbean Tourism Conference, was this whole idea of a single Caribbean airspace, where people are beginning to recognize that it's far easier to have, for example, two or three main hubs and an efficient intra-Caribbean distribution system for air passengers, as opposed to everybody trying to get their own non-stop services from various markets in Europe. So collaboration seems to be finally getting through to all of our members. Well, the good news is, I think almost as a direct result of this increased look at the environment and making sure that we are moving down the path of responsible tourism is so very important because now people begin to look at other areas. For example, in terms of training, in terms of the cultural uh, uh, values, in terms of the food that we have in the, in the Caribbean. We're talking about a Fresh from the Caribbean campaign where lots of people now begin to focus on delivering to our visitors those items that are from the Caribbean, souvenirs from the Caribbean, made in the Caribbean as an idea, but they source from some specific markets instead of getting them from the Far East. So it's a much, much greater focus of making sure that we Caribbeanize, if we will, if you will, the entire product that we have. And so you think this uni unification as far as Caribbean is concerned is, if you like, one unified destination operating together is starting to, starting to catch light? Absolutely. I mean, the whole idea is to make sure that those things that make us more efficient, we become unified. Those things that are content in terms of the experience of the customer, we want them highly diverse. So it's really that wonderful idea. And the, the analogy we use for people is the United States of the Caribbean. The states in the United States all have their own independent governors, but they all come together as one entity. And we are talking more and more about the United States of the Caribbean in that regard. Excellent. Well, we have a very close working relationship with our tour operators, both here in the UK and Europe. And uh, it was very interesting because we learned yesterday at our marketing forum that while we were embracing new channels, we had to keep one foot with our traditional markets, which we will continue to do. However, in attracting new markets, we are relaunching our website in January 2008 and the 2008 new website will be a much more interactive site and it will provide information to not just our consumers, our travel trade, our travel agents but also the press. So we'll be communicating with them continually in the traditional methods but also to very much online with the new website www.caribbean.co.uk. Uh, yes, we'll continue our calendar of events which start uh, or rather end with World Travel Market and then start again um, with uh, our trade shows both in the UK and throughout Europe. We have a number of publications, we have one here, our Guide to the Caribbean which has been distributed throughout the trade and uh, we do a number of training seminars, we do workshops and only this year we uh, can boast that we actually had a waiting list for travel agents to come on our workshop which was held at uh, University in Oxford.